<laughs> Good morning and welcome to story time. Thank you so much for joining in today on this lovely Friday morning. How are you doing wherever you're joining us from? Good morning to you and welcome to wrap off our week. Yes, our week of inspiration. We have things to do and this one is written by Elaine Magliaro and illustrated by Katya Chen. So I hope you are ready for this one. Good morning to you and welcome to Storytime. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Yay, great to be back together. And yes, indeed, we've shared some amazing stories this week and we will be sharing this one today. Things to do. Yes, and this one is by Elaine Magliaro and illustrated by Katya Chen. And, uh, Chen. and um, we are reading this one with permission of Chronicle Books of San Francisco. Good morning to you and welcome to Storytime. And just a reminder, this week we had amazing books. We started off with Forever or a Day. Great book indeed. Uh, do find it at your local library. Then we went into The Girl with a Mind for Math, the story of Ray Montague. Another inspiring story. And then we read Bloom, a story of fashion designer Elsa Schiaparelli. And then yesterday we were looking at Enough, 20 protesters who changed America. And today we have things to do. Yes, indeed. Things to do. Elaine Magliaro and illustrated by Katia Chen. Good morning to you and welcome to Storytime. Thank you so much for joining in. Happy, happy Friday to each and every one of you. Yes, good morning to you. Who is with us? Madalena Ayan and Tudor. How are you doing in San Francisco? Good morning to you. I hope you're ready for our story today and welcome indeed. Good morning, good morning. Tudor, how are you doing today? Sarah and Nathan. Then. Good morning to you out in Illinois and yes joining in with Amanda West. Good morning to you. How are you? Happy, happy Friday to you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Happy Friday indeed, Tudor and Madalena. Thank you. Harmony Beth, good morning to you. Amanda West, one more time. Sheba Chanda and Benjamin out in Lusaka, Zambia. Good evening to you out there. And good morning to you, Ellen Edwards, one more time in Chicago. Thank you for joining us. I appreciate you. And I hope you enjoyed the week we had. And looking forward to one more story that we have for you. Things to do. Good morning to you. Eva Wells, good morning to you. How are you doing? Great to see you here. Thank you so much for joining us. And you're joining in from, uh, from the ocean in San Francisco. Nice, nice, awesome. I hope you're enjoying it and I hope it's not too cold out there. Thank you so much. Or oh, is it Ocean Beach? Good morning to you. Thank you for joining in and happy you are here. And Eva, who is joining in with you today? Please do let us know. Thank you so much. All right. Good morning to you, Asta and Absa. How are you doing right here in Oakland? Good morning and welcome to Storytime. Thank you so much. I am glad you could join us for an amazing story that we have today. Things to do. Yes, indeed. And we'll be getting started with that one in a minute. Good morning to you and yes indeed wishing you a very good break if you're here in Oakland it means or if you're Oakland unified it means you will be having your uh, Thanksgiving break the whole of next week do enjoy it and please please do remember yes indeed to um, celebrate the little things enjoy the little things indeed that life gives us especially at this time when there's just so much going on thank you so much oh <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, Eva Wells, I am so sorry. Yes, oh, Ocean is your daughter. How are you doing, Ocean? Oh, I love it. I love it. Good morning to you, Ocean, in San Francisco. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Yes. <laughs> Good morning to you, Ocean. Thank you so much for joining in. Ocean, let me know how old you are. And thank you for joining in story time. Good morning. Things to do. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Sonia Abrantes, good morning to you. And good morning to you, João Tiago, as well, out in Portugal. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining in. Yes, indeed. 
<laughs> Jennifer Vera, yes indeed. No, I got caught out there. Ocean is indeed a beautiful name. I love it. Thank you so much for joining in. And um, yes, I will now not forget. I will not forget, Ocean. Thank you so much, sweetie. Thank you for joining in. <laughs> Danny Rodriguez, Luis, Isabella, and Leslie, good morning to you right here in Oakland. Thank you so much for joining us. How are you doing today? <laughs> Asta, thank you. And same to you as well. Thank you so much. Soraya, good morning to you. How are you doing? Sharon Lungo, right here in Oakland. Good morning. Thank you for joining in story time and we're about to get started with things to do Let us find out what that one is all about And yes, we are reading this one with permission of Chronicle Books of San Francisco And it is written by Elaine Magliaro and uh, illustrated by Katya Chien Good morning to you Let us enjoy Things to do things to do. Things to do if you're dawn. Shoo away night. Wash the eastern sky with light. Wake the sleeping sun. The sleeping sun. Rise and shine. Rouse resting roosters. Set songbirds singing. Let dreams drift away. Start a new day. I want that job. <laughs> Things to do if you're birds. Go find your breakfast. It's strewn on the lawn. Better come to get it before it's all gone. Stretch out your wings on the brightening sky. Morning's upon us. Get ready to fly. <laughs> Things to do if you're a honeybee. Flit among flowers. Sip nectar for hours. Be yellow and fuzzy. Stay busy. Be buzzy. <laughs> Things to do if you're an acorn. Wear a bumpy round cap and a starched brown coat. Grow plump and ripen. Snap from your stem. And off you go, for to the forest floor below. Tempt a scavenging squirrel. Let him bury you in a bed of earth beneath a blanket of moldering leaves. Dream the winter away. Then in spring, sprout. Let a little oak, let a little oak out. <laughs> Things to do if you're a snail. Slowly, slowly, take your time. Slide along your trail of slime. The wonders of your world are small. Don't hurry by. Enjoy them. <laughs> Things to do if you're the sun. Be big and round and bold and bright. Wear a crown of golden light. Shower down warm yellow rays. Rue the sky on summer days. Things to do if you're a sky. Stay clear and blue. Let the sun smile down. Don't grow grumpy, gray and frown. Don't, don't scrumble storm clouds. Don't grumble and complain. Don't stab the ground with lightning. Don't rain. Don't rain. Maybe we do need the rain out here in California. <laughs> Things to do if you're an eraser. Be pliable and pink. If I draw before I think, rub out every mistake that I happen to make. That's what your job's all about. Go on, wear yourself out. <laughs> Things to do if you're scissors. Open wide your, scissor, your silver jaws. Then snap them shut. Open, shut. Open, shut. Snip, snap. Snip. Action. Cut. <laughs> Things to do if you're rain. Polka dot sidewalks. Freckle window pans. 
whoosh down gutter spouts, gurgle into drains, pat around the porch in, sli in slippers of gray, tap dance on the roof, then go away. <laughs> Things to do if you're boots. Splish in, in puddles, splash on the walk. Make the fallen raindrops talk. <laughs> Things to do if you're an orb spider. Weave a, weave a web of silken strands with spinnerets. You don't need hands. A silver net, a sticky snare, a clever trap that's light as air. Weave a web, then watch and wait upon your woven dinner table, dinner plate. No need to hunt to catch your prey. A meal will soon be on its way. <laughs> Things to do if you're crickets. Quiet fills the summer night. Fireflies. Dot the dark with light. Birds are nestled in the trees. The world is still. There is no breeze. Tune your instruments and sigh. Bid this balmy day of good this balmy day goodbye. Rub wings and sing a lullaby. Things to do if you're the moon. Live in the sky, be bold or be shy. Wax and wane in your starry terrain. Be a circle of light, just a silver of white. Or hide in the shadows and vanish from sight. Look like a pearl when you are brimful and bright. Hang in the darkness, dazzle the night. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining in story time today. I hope you enjoyed that one. Things to do. And my favorite part is definitely with the snail. Slow down. Don't let things rush you by. Slow down. Enjoy them. And indeed, let us enjoy the family time that we have right now, the moments that we have with the people that we love. Let us enjoy them. But of course, let us remember to be safe this time around. I know the holidays are here and the desire to be with family may be there, but let us remember to be safe and it's just one holiday if we miss and we will be able hopefully to see our loved ones later on thank you so much for joining in story time today i hope you enjoyed the lineup that we had for you this week we had amazing books inspiring books and of course a beautiful reminder to cap it all off to enjoy the beautiful things that we have outside a little bit of nature a little bit of rain a little bit of sun the moon everything slow down enjoy your life a little bit more thank you so much for joining in story time i absolutely enjoyed that one and i hope you did too and please keep sending in recommendations if you have of books that you'd like to re read on story time and if permissions allow we will absolutely read them right here but look forward to great lineups coming up next week to begin with and um that will be posted on all social um, uh, platforms for story time later today. So please do check them out. But indeed, do join us next week for more stories. And I hope you enjoyed things to do. Do find it at your local library or indeed check the link below and see how you can get yourself a copy. Thank you so much for joining in story time. Let us see who else is with us and indeed how you enjoyed that book. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning to you. One more time. I have to really say this again. Ocean, thank you so much for joining in. I will not forget your name this time. Thank you so much, Sudha, for joining in. Absolutely appreciate having you here on Storytime. Yes, indeed, a beautiful name indeed. Danny Rodriguez, Isabella, Luis, and Leslie, how are you doing today? Absa, good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining in. And of course, um, Sharon Lungo and Soraya, good morning to you as well. Maria, Antonia, and and Davi, thank you so much for joining us today. As always, appreciate you. Ava Scarlett, happy Friday to you. And Jade, good evening to you as well. Thank you so much for joining us. Sheba Chanda, good morning to you out there in Lusaka, Zambia. Thank you so much for joining in. And of course, Benjamin, a big high five for you as well. Timothy Dixon, the Songbox 
salute. Good morning to you. How are you doing, my brother? Great you could join in today. It is indeed a fun book. And guess what? Thanksgiving break is here with us. So let us go riding, my friend. Let us enjoy some bike rides this coming week. Absolutely. Good morning to you, Ellen Edwards. One more time, you say beautiful illustrations. Absolutely. Beautiful illustrations. Great rhythm to the book. I loved it. Thank you so much. Eva Wells, thank you, thank you one more time. Have yourself a beautiful weekend. And Ocean, yes indeed, enjoy the weekend as well, sweetheart. Thank you so much for joining us today on Storytime. Thank you and for making Mr. Limada laugh indeed. <laughs> Good morning to you. Thank you so much, Timothy Dixon. We are back. Yes indeed, Storytime will be here next week. Do join in. It'll be great. It'll be all, all here for um, Thanksgiving break right here in Oakland, but I will be right Right here reading more stories with our kids so please do join us if you can Sonia Brantes you say have a nice weekend you too my dear thank you so much and be safe absolutely to everybody out there please be safe thank you so much and you are welcome Danny thank you Jennifer Vera you say slowly slowly goes the snail one of my favorite little rhymes but so hard to do truly slowly absolutely no very very true and we need to remind ourselves to be calm take that breath extra breath and think about it i know that sometimes you know life just pushes us and we keep going but it is good to take a break take a breath and slow down thank you so much thank you to you ellen edwards enjoy it always thank you so much absolutely love it and ellen that puts a smile on my face really and that just makes me happy it makes my glad my heart glad thank you so much to hear you say this is the highlight of your day absolutely appreciate it thank you so much and and um, yes, indeed, we need to get that one for our library, Jennifer Vera. Absolutely. Harmony Beth, happy Friday to you. And you too, enjoy the holidays, please, with your loved ones. And please remember to take all the safety precautions that we need as we enjoy this great time in the year. Thank you so much for joining in. Always appreciate you. And you're saying to everybody, enjoy your holidays. We are thankful, are absolutely well thankful to each and every one of you and for each and every one of you here indeed. Thank you so much for joining in. Absolutely appreciate it. Timothy Dixon, yes indeed, my friend. Cheryl Smiley Oliphant, good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes indeed. You are one of our heroes who does not need a cape. Thank you so much for an amazing book and for sharing your joy with the kids. Absolutely appreciate you. Happy Friday indeed. To everybody that joined in, much love from me as always. Hugs, hugs, hugs and tons of hugs to you. And I will see you next week. Yes, during Thanksgiving break, hopefully we can all be together. Many of us joining in and reading together. Much love from me and I will see you on Monday morning. Have a great weekend. Please do take care of yourself and your loved ones. Bye-bye. <laughs>